Ah, that was a little cheating. I mean, how to kick higher and increase your flexibility on your freestanding bag or bob. You want to kick higher, but you have to be flexible. And one way you could use the bag to increase your flexibility is by going slower and lower. So for example, if I want to kick over the target of the head, over, over, that requires a lot of flexibility, which we'll get to in a second. Now, if you don't do that until you're warmed up, and these are some tips that you could do to increase your flexibility. An effective stretch that you can do to increase your mobility and flexibility is dynamic stretching. And dynamic movements are simply movements that are slow and steady. And while you're moving, your legs are stretching and coming back. All right, so this leg stretch requires you to have a strong front stance where your knees bent, your guards are for balance, and as you stretch, bring it up. You can move your legs up and down like this, but if you're moving your left leg, counterbalance with your left hand. All right, so this way you get more stability and do the same. Make sure your shoulders are squared and your breathing is steady to keep your rhythm. And when you're ready, you go higher and higher, but obviously don't do them until you're ready. So slow movements, lean on the bag. Yeah, the last video we lean on our bag, lean on your buddy or your, your bobby up and down. All right, so that's the hamstring. That's the first muscle you want to loosen up. The second is the quads, the opposing or the opposite muscle. Bring it back, bring it sideways. So by doing this, you're stretching your quads, your hips, and of course your standing stability leg. All right, back. Pow. All right. Then from there, work your calves. Stretch down where you're stepping forward and you're dropping your heel towards the floor and then slowly stretching out your leg. Now the calves are very easy to, to overstretch and pull, so make sure you do it slowly. You should hold for a minimum of 10 seconds and then easy. So with your chest forward and your chin up, make sure you're nice and steady. And of course, leg swings, hips go side to side. Let me show you from here. Side to side, side to side. Again, about 10 repetitions, but where would you want it? So hamstrings, quads, hips, calves, few of the important muscles to working and kicking. But people forget to do the upper body. Ragdolls, where your hands are hitting your body, like ragdolls, hands are loose and limber. About 20 reps, hip rotations, all four quadrants. Again, about five to 10 times each side, and then you should be loose. All right, so once you loosened up, loosened up, you should be relaxed. Of course, you wanna get a little bit of a sweat. All right, so once you're getting loosened up, you feel your body's warm, then start kicking high. Start lower and slower. Above the head. Now, why do we have a target to kick? Because as in life, if there's no target, you have no focus. You have to have a target and you have to focus towards it. Because when you just kick in the air, it can work, but you don't know where your, your target is. So even when you train, you know, when a trainer trains a student, we always put a mid in front so they can kick the target. See, kicking over the target, kicking without the target, sometimes they miss the spot. All right, so we're starting low. Good stance, one, Two. These are crescent kicks. Crescent kicks are usually hitting with the inside of the foot, like bah, here, bah. but for this purpose, we're not going to target, we're going to kick over the target. After about a few reps, a little higher, <laughs> lower your stance, and then when you're ready, I'm feeling like a tough guy. A little bit higher. Ah, that was a little cheating. I grabbed my leg. But that's okay. 
hitting targets, setting a goal, setting a height, meeting it, exceeding it by going higher, you're gonna find that it's gonna help you with your flexibility training. All right, warmed up, stretched out, kicking, safety always first. Then when you get comfortable, then you can start hitting the target. The first few kicks, we kicked over the target. When you're ready, bah, you can hit the target bah, with your inner leg bah, or with your foot. But as you can see, if you kick over the target, you're actually increasing your training by increasing your speed. So kicking over and faster gives you more technique, control, and balance. So these are some drills you could use to increase your flexibility. And of course, doing the exercise is gonna give you a good workout too. So training to be stronger, faster, more flexible, takes time. Make sure you're hydrated, you're warmed up, and always make sure your surface obviously is dry and stable, All right? Nice tip for the day. We'll see you soon. Train properly, be safe, make sure you know the proper tips and techniques. Subscribe here for more on how you can be better and comment below as I'll always get back to you. Have a good day.